My name is Carol Hartby and this is my video for advanced health assessment. This is my patient, Corey. I washed my hands prior to coming in. Um, Corey is a 24 year old male who appears his stated age and is generally in good health. Um, can you tell me your birth date? 1389. And what year is it? 2013. Who's president? President Barack Obama. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and assess his gait now. If you'll walk across the room for me, and then when you walk back, do heel to toe. Okay, good. Um, his gait appears normal. His skin is pink, warm, and dry. Um, his face is symmetrical, eyes, nose, mouth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check his scalp now for any lumps, bumps, lesions, dry areas. And everything feels okay. There's no dry areas, no lesions, no loss of hair anywhere. I'm going to flick at his fingers, his fingernails. Um, they're clean, short. No discolorations, no ridges on either hand. I'm going to check his eyes now. I would use my pin light to check for pupil reaction. And then I would have him follow my finger with his eyes. <laughs> and then I would go on to check his ears. Um, I would look for any redness or pain. I would use my scope to check his auditory canal, looking at his tympanic membrane. And, oops, sorry. I would do that on both sides. No pain. No. Um, I'm now going to check his lymph nodes, looking for any irregularities, any pain or swelling. No pain? No. No pain? No. Okay. I would also use my scope to look into his nose, make sure that there was no swelling, lesions, anything like that. And then I'd have him open his mouth and say, ah. Uh. I would check his tonsils and make sure that his uvula was midline and look for any redness or swelling in his tonsils. Um, I'm going to have him turn around and face that way. I'm going to check his thyroid. Can you swallow for me? There you go. And it's midline. I'm going to check his carotid. And they're nice and strong on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and listen to him now. Big deep breath in and out. <clears throat> and his lungs are clear bilaterally. I'm going to fill up his spine looking for any lumps or bumps, curvatures in his spine, check for any pain or swelling, no pain or swelling, you want no, no. pain or swelling, no pain, no pain, okay, I'm going to have you go ahead and lay down, I'm going to listen to his heart while he's laying down, I'm going to listen to his abdomen now.
His heart has regular rate and rhythm, no murmurs. Bow sounds positive in all four quadrants. I'm going to lift up your shirt now. Okay. I'm just going to palpate for any tenderness. Any pain? No. And I'm going to have you take a deep breath and let it out. And I'm going to feel deep for his liver. I'm going to have you do that one more time. And I'll pay for the spleen. No pain? No. I would also then check his femoral arteries on either side and check for any inguinal hernias. I'm um, going to feel his penile pulses. And they're all equal on both sides. I'm going to check muscle strength. Try to push up. And try to push down. Okay. Try to push down. And try to push up. Okay. Push down. And push up. Push down. And push up. Muscle strength is equal on both sides. Bend your leg there. I'm going to check for any abnormalities with abduction and adduction. Move it across the midline. No pain or popping noted. I'm going to have you go ahead and sit up. And I'm going to check your reflexes. And they're equal bilaterally. Now have you close your eyes and tell me if it's soft or rough. And I'm going to let him smell this and tell me what he smells to check his olfactory. Vanilla. Okay. I'm going to listen to his heart while he's sitting up. I would have checked his heart before I had him laying down. And that concludes my assessment. Thank you.